Okay, hello everybody, and um, welcome back to Pioneer. Today, I want to go to Epsilon Eridani. I'm kind of tired of looking for uh, paint shops out here in the middle of nowhere. Right, because we're still out here in the middle, not quite the middle, but... Well, actually, almost smack dab in the middle of this kind of outer arm of the Solar Federation. So we're going to go back to Epsilon Eridani. Why Epsilon Eridani? Because I know there's a... I know there's a paint shop there. <laughs> now we could go to Earth, we could go to... Uh, Bernard Star, but... I really don't want to go back to Bernard Star. So let's plot our route. Woo! How many jumps is that? 22 jumps! Okay. Wow, look at that. Where's the... System. So that'll make it a little harder to see, but this is okay. Now, so here we are at Sigrium, and we're going to go all the way to Epsilon Eridani. Uh, we're going to have to stop somewhere along the way to do some uh, scooping. Right, we can take a look at systems like these. Well, that's hard to tell. I can find some uh, small gas giants that are fairly close, like Zaurarad. Th that sounds familiar. I think I've been to this system before. I don't remember. <laughs> right, but we we will have to uh, plan some jumps somewhere along the way. We're also leaving uh, Sigrium because one of the space stations here is out of whack. And we'll take a look at a video of that real quick. Okay, so we are here at Yamashita Outpost. And this is... screwed up at the moment. Right, so, we can't really use cruise control, unfortunately, because of... Oh, I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, but something is messed up. And it's kind of easy to see at the moment. You've noticed my current frame of reference, the current frame of reference we have here, is not a uh, Yamashita outpost, but the star, Sigrium. Okay, so let's see if we can't get a little closer to it. can't turn on cruise control for some odd reason. Uh, it goes up to... Huh. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah. Stop, 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 stop. See, we're doing something strange here with cruise mode. kind of see from the opening of the uh, docking bay here that there's something funky going on there. Look at the kind of smoke or particle effects coming off of that. Don't know what's happening there. Okay. We can't use autopilot or uh, we can't use autopilot or uh, we can't use cruise control we can't use either of them to dock but 
we can attempt to do this manually. So we'll get kind of close. Look at the, the strange stuff coming off of that. Now we can still get docking permission from the outpost like it was actually here. But we can't land on it. And you can see there uh, if we can actually stop. Let's see. Ooh. You can see we've got a couple ships here. We've got four of them stacked together there. They're trying to get into the station to land, but they can't, and they've kind of clipped into each other. So Yamashita wants us to go to pad 9. And there's pad 9. So we're going to attempt an approach. Let's go ahead and put down our gear. Try to land? Watch this. Whoop! We have clipped through the landing pad. So something is wrong with this. I mean, the station will still act like it's here. We can get docking. Let's turn around a bit. All right, we can shoot these uh, things here, these stuck spaceships, and it will launch a, uh, a police ship. but we still can't do anything. And the police ship's gonna get stuck in here too because the police ship doesn't know what to do with this. See, and that that's the, the police ship banging around back there. Where are you? There he is. ships get damaged. I'm not sure. There's some ore. The ore is launched in. Because these ships think they're being pirated. ships stuck here. So yeah, this station is borked. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's kind of funny to kind of take 
pot shots of these traders, though. Lodos, that's a big ship, too. Okay, yeah, that, that's not the best. You get the idea. So, with, uh, with Yamashita being really out of order, it limits what we can do here in the system. So, it's time to leave. Right, we're going to get the paint job, and we're going to run away from this bug, hopefully. Ooh, that's a nice looking planet. Uh, 0.28 AU away. That's a good way to get jump, but that's kind of, uh, that's kind of heavy. 8.3, that's not too far. Okay. So, uh, normally, what I would do here is buy a ton of fuel and we could make the jump. We could make the entire jump and boom, boom, boom. But that would cost a bit of money. So, in order to save some money, we're just going to fuel scoop. Which is probably not going to be particularly interesting, but whatever. Normally, I would fuel scoop here in Sigrium because Sigrium has some scoopable places, right? Sigrium C. It's a little far, uh, 1.2, almost 1.2 AU. But because Yamashita is broken, um, well, we can't scoop because Yamashita, for some reason, it slows the entire game down when you get in the right position or the wrong position I should say so we're going to make our first jump to Berylil, Berylil which is three tons and instead of buying the fuel or scooping it here we're going to pump down from our fuel tanks. Right, we have 135 tons of fuel in our tanks, so right, it's not exactly a. Oops, that's the wrong s system. It's not exactly a, a problem. Yeah, let's go to C to lose some fuel or use some of that fuel for gas okay still haven't quite got the hang of fuel scooping I'm not entirely sure what the best way to do it is we can approach the planet. All right, we can stop and break in the atmosphere and, and scoop the atmosphere up. But right, is that the most effective way to do it? Like, what's the most effective atmosphere? What's the most effective percentage, I should say, of atmosphere to scoop in? And I don't know. So. Uh, nothing left to do but practice, I suppose, in that case. Even though it's not a real big gas giant, it is a gas giant. So we're going to have to watch our approach speed. Can't be going too fast. It's a nice big green one. We're zoomed out. 
that was bad. Oh, this might be rather bad. Okay. Um, emergency maneuvers. Yeah, I, I messed this up. Okay. Maybe I didn't mess it up? Well, actually... We slowed down a fair bit there, didn't we? <laughs> okay. Okay. Um... Now we did mess it up. We just messed it up in the... In a different way. <laughs> Uh, that was not what I was expecting. I was pretty sure I was going to crash there. I still might crash. <laughs> okay. Now we have to watch our speed for real. Once we hit the atmosphere... We'll go down... Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how far down we should go. Let's see, surface gravity is eight oh oh zero point eight three. Let's see, any any kind of uh, mm, nothing here that gives us a any kind of indication about the atmosphere. But we'll just watch the atmosphere gauge over here and. I don't know. Keep it at about... Hmm. I don't know. We'll try and keep it... 5% maybe? See how well that scoops? Oh. We're getting closer to the atmosphere. Keep the braking gauge there in the middle. Hmm? Oh, we have entered the atmosphere. ourselves around and we try and get in position to scoop there we go fuel scoop has started Want to manage our descent a little bit more so we're at three percent atmospheric pressure going too fast. Five, four, five, six. Alright, we're at five percent atmospheric pressure.
doesn't help that I have the less efficient scoop, the combo scoop, so it doesn't s scoop fuel as quick as the one I had on the Mola Mola. This is looking pretty good. Okay, let's turn on cruise. And we'll level out. Go at zero and zero. Ain't nothing left to do now but collect fuel. Okay. Uh, gas up. How many tons are we missing? 90 tons of fuel. So. tons in the tank to gas up and then we'll need to collect some for uh, jumping yeah this is relatively quick okay six percent we could probably take it down to ten percent Let's try going a little deeper. Ten percent and probably scoop a bit faster. So you can see our cruise control, our cruise mode is having trouble actually uh, keeping speed with our uh, gas giant here. Let's make our ascent, uh, descent a little steeper. Six. Seven. Okay, okay. So, 10% atmospheric pressure might be a sweet spot. Might be too deep, but we'll just have to find out. It's looking good, though. We're still scooping a whole lot. And when we hit 10%, we will level back out. Hold temperature is not bad. Where's 10%? This is looking pretty good, I suppose. 8, 59. 60. Okay, let's uh, refuel. So we've still got only 16 tons then. Wow, that's a big fuel tank. I was surprised how big the fuel tank is. one jumps, right? Uh, well, we just made a single jump, didn't we? So, let's see. We could make our way to Betide. Hecker showed you. 
Hex showed you. There's Hex showed you. There you go. Ooh. Hex showed you. Well, that's, there's a lot of places we could gas up here. Oh, well, that's, that's ridiculously close. 1.08 AU from, from Hikishiru A. That's an easy gas up. Alright, so. How much gas, how many more tons of gas do we need to get there? Six more tons. Plus weights, I suppose. So, okay, we'll go to, we'll go to Hikishiru. And, uh, gas up there again. That'll be our second gas stop. 